using real-time geographic information systems to improve mass drug administration coverage in areas with persistence or recurring trachoma in Kenya. Innovation and learning underpin all of SiteSaver's work. In the year 2021, the SiteSaver's innovation incubator was launched to encourage and support innovation in SiteSaver's projects and programs. Trachoma is the world leading infectious cause of blindness. It is caused by repeated infection of the bacteria known as Chlamydia trachomatis. The advanced stage of the disease is known as trachoma trichiasis, and if left untreated, can lead to permanent blindness. Azithromycin mass drug administration is used to reduce prevalence of trachoma. Kenya is close to eliminating trachoma with a target of the year 2025. However, this will not be possible if certain districts continue to show persistence in TF cases even after treatment with azithromycin. SightSavers is leading on an innovation solution using real-time GIS tracking and monitoring of CDDs as they deliver drugs targeted in rural settings. This innovation introduces a new visual tool which tracks CDDs movement on a map pre-populated with identified residential structures the MBA supervisors from the County Department of Health can monitor the movement of CDDs, visually identify if there are areas that have been missed, and allow for an immediate response to confirm if the structures visited are inhabited, to verify if drugs were not delivered, and ultimately deliver drugs if necessary. The CDDs the supervisors and site server support team have access to a common interactive map. This interactive map is accessible via smartphones that are provided by site servers to all participants, CDDs and supervisors. In the short term and medium term, the innovation will generate a critical mass of health workers and CDDs who are ready and well equipped to respond to issues surrounding persistence and recurrence of active trachoma. The innovation will improve up-to-date monitoring of treatment data in the MDA and the ability to pick up and address localized MDA challenges. This will help boost coverage rates. The innovation aims to improve accountability and visibility of CDDs during MDS this will enable timely and more accurate forecasting of areas that will need more pups to improve coverage and ensure that no community is left out of MDA. It is also anticipated that the rollout of this innovation will generate important insights for areas that are experiencing persistence or recurrence of active trachoma. To ensure sustainability of the project intervention, healthcare managers at both national and county government levels will be involved in the selection, design, implementation, and monitoring of all proposed solutions. The two levels of government will be the primary custodians of any data generated from the implementation of this project. The choice of mobile phones for CDD tracking ensures data is available in real time rather than requiring manual approval from other tracking devices. Although this can be an expensive approach and it is not realistic to provide mobile phones to every CDD, this is a clear scenario where there needs to be a short-term investment to improve supervision and data availability to improve coverage in a problematic area. This will make long-term gains, accelerating elimination efforts, and hopefully saving costs. Piloting this is not a one-size-fits-all approach, but it could be an effective solution for other countries as they learn from the Kenyan experience. Our aim is that the innovative GIS tracking will bring us one step closer to the elimination of trachoma globally in our lifetime.